And that's why I say that Lou Malnati, to me, is the man of the year. And I'd like to present the award. <laughs> Lou. Johnny, Mr. Chairman, members of the committee, dear friends, supporters of one of the greatest health that there is to one of the worst diseases that could ever hit mankind. My first memory of uh, the cancer dinner was uh, my dad and mother and Jeannie and Johnny Morris put together a, a celebration to remember Brian Piccolo. So originally it was the Brian Piccolo scholarship dinner where we would pick a kid from Chicago and he would go to Wake Forest and kind of continue in Brian Piccolo's footsteps. I was actually the recipient of the Brian Piccolo scholarship to attend Wake Forest to play football and the Malnati's uh, underwrote the scholarship uh, for, my, uh, for my funds that, that covered my, my four years there at Wake Forest. Sometime in the 80s, we moved from giving money as a scholarship at Wake Forest University to uh, giving money toward cancer research at uh, a couple different hospitals. And the event never really skipped a beat. to Northwestern Memorial for the Brain Tumor Institute. We give money to Gildas Club and we give money to Children's Memorial for pediatric neuroblastoma. It was just something that I felt very deeply about and I knew that I wanted to continue doing this and we were hoping to do it for a long time. As far as I'm concerned, I've dedicated myself that I want to do this for the rest of my life and I would like somebody else to take it when I'm not here anymore. I, I just think that it's a worthwhile cause. One of the things that's most important when we take a child with a brain tumor is to remember that we're treating a child, we're not treating a tumor. Can I find you that? Hello? Oh, I found him. Hello? And that's a philosophical statement that is pervasive in everything we do. Our role is to design therapies that are curative, therapies that will make sure the child doesn't have to suffer with this tumor, but to make sure we do it in a way that will allow them to live life to its fullest. I think when you hear the words, you have cancer, and equally when you learn that someone that you love has cancer, you can feel very, very alone. You could be in a room full of people, but you still feel lonely. And when I was diagnosed with cancer, my brother-in-law was like, you need to go to Gilda's Club. My daughter said, you must go over to Gilda's Club. It is wonderful. It's a community. You get to meet people that have gone through what you're going through. It's about making sure that nobody has to go through this alone. The uh, Lou Malnati Cancer Benefit has, has been instrumental in providing us with the resources to recruit top-notch scientists from around the country, uh, world-class clinicians, some of the scientific en endeavors that uh, we're excited about. They're cutting-edge 
including mathematical modeling, including understanding tumor biology, including moving forward with the development of potentially therapeutic, uh, novel therapeutic treatments for patients with malignant brain tumors. And without those dollars, we'd have a harder time getting to the success we've attained to date. I think that it can get old and stale coming to the same people year after year and asking them to reach in their pocket for the same cause. But it's not true with the people in this room. The people in this room believe that there is a day ahead, a day coming, hopefully in all of our lifetime, when cancer will be defeated. Thanks for being a part of this. Thanks for joining us. We appreciate you.